Hello fellow intelligent investors, my name is René Zalman and in today's video I want to introduce you to the fundamentals of multi math. And what I mean by that is I will introduce you to two methods that will help you quickly estimate how long it will take an investment to double, quadruple or increase tenfold in value. And once you have watched the video, you will basically have acquired two mental shortcuts that will help you truly understand how compounding works. So without further ado, let's get started. Have you ever wondered how you can make your hard-earned money work for you? Have you ever dreamed of building generational wealth and leaving a legacy? My name is René Zellman and I'll teach you how you can manage and invest your money with confidence, a long-term vision and without losing your mind. Join me on my journey of intelligent investing and learn how smart people can compound their money effectively and accumulate wealth. All right, so let me start right away with the first mental shortcut. And I think this is a rather well-known one. Well, have you ever wondered how many years would be required to double your money at a given interest rate? Well, the so-called rule of 72 allows you to, to determine exactly that. So what you're doing here is you take the number 72 and it divide it by the annual rate of return of your investment. And what you will end up with is a pretty accurate approximation of how long it will take your investment to double. Let me maybe illustrate this with an example. In my previous video, I discussed why the stock market always goes up over the long term. The S&P 500 index, for example, is a well-known benchmark for American stock market performance. And if we go back all the way to the 1920s, well, ever since then, the index has generated an annualized average rate of return of 10%. So in order to determine how long it took passive S&P 500 investors to double their initial investment, given a compounded return of 10% per year, you just divide 72 by 10. And 72 divided by 10 is 7, or if you want to be more specific, 7.2. And this is pretty close to the result you would get if you would use the actual compound interest formula. The mathematically correct answer would be 7.27 years. If you want to know how long it will take to double your money, say at a 25% rate of return, well then divide 25 into 72 and you get a ballpark estimate of 3 years. Or again, if you want to do the actual math, 2.88 years. And finally, an investment with a rate of return of 4% will double in 18 years. 72 divided by 4 is 18. Now maybe you already knew this rule of thumb, but did you know that the rule of 72 can also be used in the reverse? So if you want to double your money in a specific number of years, what kind of return would be required to get there? Well, simply use the following formula. The required compound annual growth rate to double your investment equals 72 divided by the number of years in which you wish to double your money. So let's say you want to double your investment in seven years. Then you need to earn a return of about 10%. 72 divided by seven. Now, I would like to add three more, yeah, a little more nuanced points here. First of all, the result you get from the rule of 72 is the number of years it will take, yeah, your investment to double, assuming that you do not withdraw any money or make any additional contributions. I think it is very important to keep, in, keep this in mind, as especially in your first few years of investing, you will very likely constantly add quite a significant amount of money to your investment portfolio. This is quite a natural process as yeah, new money comes in from your income source. Okay. Secondly, the rough estimate you get from this rule of 72 is most accur accurate yeah, for the re rate of returns of 7, 8 or 9% per year. The more you deviate from these returns, the farther away you get from the actually mathematically correct doubling time. Put differently, the approximations are less accurate at very high and very low interest rates. And this can nicely be illustrated in a chart. This chart here also provides a nice overview, overview I think, of yeah, how various interest rates require different amount, a different amount of time for your investment to double. 
And then a third point that I wanted to bring up here is that theoretically you could actually adjust this rule of 72, this rule of thumb, to achieve an even higher accuracy by using 69.3 instead of 72. And this becomes especially important for continuous compounding and shorter compounding periods, like daily compounding. But as we are just looking for a rule of thumb here, I think the rule of thumb 72 already provides yeah, a pretty good approximation for annual compounding. And I personally think the rule of 72 does the job for me. And yeah, I think also the calculations are also much easier to do in your head. I think what makes the value of 72 such a convenient choice is that it has many small divisors. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 9 and 12. All right, guys, before I move on, you could really help me out if you could just quickly hit the like button, leave a comment or share the videos with your friends or family colleagues. I know this only takes you a few seconds, but it would help me and the channel out a great deal and it would help me to reach more people. Thank you. Okay, so as I said, I think this mental shortcut to estimate compounded returns is already fairly well known. So let me briefly present another mental shortcut to estimate compounded returns. What if instead of increasing your investment by 2x, you want to increase it by a factor of 10? Sure, you could get to nx, 8x with the rule of 72. You could say that an investment that returns 10% annually will take 7 years to double. So 14 years to quadruple and thus 21 years to 8x. And then you could come up with a ballpark estimate of say 24, 23 or 25 years for the investment to increase tenfold. But this already takes quite a bit of time and effort and there's actually an easier alternative. A variant of the rule of 72 for 10xing rather than merely doubling your money is the rule of 240. I was actually introduced to this mental shortcut by the focused compounding guys. And this rule essentially uses the same methodology as the rule of 72. You take the number of 240 and divide it by the annual rate of return of the investment you have made. And you will get yeah, a pretty good or accurate approximation of how long this investment will take to 10x in value. For example, an investment will take 24 years to 10x, so that means that $10 will grow to $100 if the rate of return is 10% per year. 240 divided by 10% and that's 24 years. And if we just open a compound interest calculator, we can see that this is actually a pretty good estimate. If you want to increase an investment by a factor of 10 within 12 years, you need to achieve a compounded annual growth rate of 20%. 240 divided by 20. And if you achieve a rate of return of 5%, the time required to achieve 10x is 48 years. I think you get the idea here. But just like the rule of 72, the rule of 240 is only an estimation technique, a rule of thumb. For example, a 5% return will get you to 10x in 47 years and not 48 years if you would use the actual compound interest formula. But nonetheless, I think it is a reasonably accurate estimate. And in fact, it is accurate to within six months for all returns in the 6 to 15% range. So there you have your multibagger math. The beauty of multibaggers is that once an investment has, say, increased fivefold in value, it only needs to double one more time to become a 10 bagger. And once an investment has 10 x it only needs to double to become a 20 bagger. That's the magic of compounding. And in a way, I think this also highlights why you should not be anchored to yeah, your cost basis or past prices of an individual security, so an, indiv in, an individual stock. All you want to focus on are the forward-looking prospects of the business. And of course, the current stock, pr stock price relative to the true intrinsic worth of that company. And in this context, I wanted to show you the following two tweets that I think can be quite enlightening. Feel free to pause the video here to read them at your own pace. And yeah, and I will just proceed with the rest of the video now. So if you ever get the opportunity to acquire an ownership stake in a publicly traded company, when the stock is available at a true bargain price, 
you can pretty quickly end up with life-changing multi-bagger returns. Once an investment has gone up 10x in value, once it has reached 10 bagger status, if that investment then just continues to grow steadily at 10% a year, you will end up with a 25 bagger after roughly 9 years, a 50 bagger after 17 years and a 100 bagger after only 24 years. I think I've mentioned in a previous video that my cousin, who's only recently started investing, was able to start a decently sized position in Capri Holdings, which is best known for yeah, it's Michael Kors and Versace brands. And he was able to initiate that position when the stock was effectively trading at a market cap to free cash flow ratio of one. He was surely somewhat lucky with regard to the timing of his investment, as he pretty much bought at the absolute bottom of the Corona 2020 meltdown. But sometimes you need a little luck and the stock is actually up 10x since he made this investment. And we have just shown how life-changing such an investment can be if it just continues to compound at a good, not necessarily an astounding rate of return of say 10% per year. And maybe just on a side note here, obviously if he would sell that investment or trim his position, he would have to pay capital gains taxes. And in Germany that's yeah, quite significant actually. And this would obviously disrupt the power of compounding. And this is why I per personally feel much more comfortable in higher quality, higher quality companies than yeah, Capri Holdings. But that was just a remark I wanted to make here. All right, so what's the bottom line here? I think the two rules of thumb that I discussed in this video are astoundingly accurate. They are great mental shortcuts to do some basic compounding math in your head, as the mathically, mathematically correct compound interest formulas required to actually yeah, do these calculations are too complicated for the vast majority of people to do in their heads without yeah, a calculator. And now let me wrap up this video with a Peter Kandel quote. All I know is that if you can end up with a 20% track record over a longer period of time, the compound rates of return are such that the amounts are staggering. Okay, and now as always, may your finances and investments prosper. Good luck.